Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at higher maths again and some altitudes. So we need to define what an altitude is and then we're going to try and find how to, how to find the equation of an altitude. So I've drawn a couple of triangles. I've drawn a right angle triangle and previously when we did right angle triangles you would be remembering that the area of a triangle is a half the base times the height. But it's not actually just any old height, it's the vertical height. The vertical height is of a right angle triangle would be called the altitude of the triangle it, because it is a line that hits the base at right angles. Technically, if you take any triangle, looking over here, a non right angle triangle, it would still be half the base times height for the area, or we could say it's half the base times the altitude. So, an altitude is basically the height of the triangle. Let's be more formal about that. The altitude of a triangle is a line drawn from one vertex which meets the opposite side at the right angles. So the word vertex is just the corner of the triangle. So if I go to any corner and draw a straight line down in the opposite side at right angles, that line is called an altitude. I could draw another line from here to here hitting at right angles and that would be an altitude and another line from here to here. One thing to note is an altitude often does not hit the other side and cuts it in half. It does not cut it in half. It would only cut it in half if it was an isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle. So bear, bear that in mind. If you go back to my previous video on perpendicular bisectors, you will start to realise that a perpendicular bisector is a special type of altitude. It's an altitude that cuts a line in half. It's also therefore called a median, which we will get to in the next video. So if I draw a triangle ABC, and I want to say I want the altitude from C. I'm just literally saying look at vertex C and draw a line straight down at right angles. If it cuts it at right angles, that's the altitude from C. If I wanted the altitude from A, I'd go from A straight across, cutting the opposite side at right angles. And similarly from B, straight across, cutting the opposite side at right angles. Now, we're going to be looking at the equation of an altitude. If you want the equation of any straight line, you need two things. You need a point and you need the gradient of the line. Now, since the altitude cuts at right angles, if you knew the gradient of line A and B, then using negative reciprocals, the rule that M1 times M2 equals minus 1 would tell you the gradient straight away of the altitude. And then you've already got a point, assuming you've got all the points of the triangle, you would then use point C to find the equation of the altitude. And that's what we're going to look at now with an example. Example one says triangle ABC has vertices A3 minus 5, B4 3 and C minus 7 2. Find the equation of the altitude from A. I always find it handy just to draw a simple sketch of this so that you understand what's going on. So if I just draw a random triangle, I'm not even going to try and plot it properly, just a, a, a really quick sketch at the side, just like so. If I just call the first one A, the second one B, and the third one C. It says the equation of the altitude from A, so if I call that A and go across, meeting that line at right angles. So remember, we always need two things to find the equation of a line. We need the gradient, and we need a point. Now, to find the gradient of a line, you need two points usually, but we don't have this point. It doesn't cut it in half, but we do have B and C. So we can find the gradient of B and C and use the fact that it's perpendicular to find the gradient of the altitude. So let's start doing that. The gradient of BC is equal to, well, 2 minus 3 over minus 7 minus 4. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Minus 7 minus 4 is minus 11, or simplify that to just the 1 over 11. So we know we're going to BC, and since it's an altitude, therefore the gradient of the perpendicular equals minus 11 because of nice symptoms. And we also need to write our little statement since m1 times m2 must equal minus 1. So we've now got our gradient, let's just highlight that with a red mark, so that's what we need. We now need also the point, and use y minus b equals mx minus a. So the point, remember, we're using this point a, which is 3 minus 5. 
So using point A, which is 3 minus 5, and our gradient, which is minus 11, y minus b equals m x minus a. So that's the point A and that's the point B. Y minus minus 5, watch out for your double minuses, equals negative 11 x minus 3. Simplify that a little bit. So we've got y plus 5 is minus 11 x plus 33. Or to take the 5 over to the other side, we get minus 11 x plus 28. We've now got the equation of our altitude. Okay, a little past paper question, 2015 paper two, just question 1A. You'll notice that most of these questions have three parts. You'll find the equation of various things. Once we get to the end of this course, we'll bring it all together and we'll show all three parts together. But for now, we'll just do part A. The vertices of the triangle ABC of minus 5, 7, minus 1, minus 5, and 13, 3 as shown in the diagram. The broken line represents the altitude from C. Show that the equation of the altitude from C is x minus 3y equals 4. So they're telling us what the equation is going to be, but we're just going to work it out and see if we get the same answer. So from C, we need the gradient. So we're going to have to find the gradient of A and B and use perpendicular lines. And then we're going to use point C with y minus B equals mx minus A. So the gradient of A and B... Well, we've got b is minus 5, minus 7 on the top, and minus 1, minus, minus 5 on the bottom. Minus 5 take away 7 is negative 12. Minus 1 plus 5 is 4. Minus 12 divided by 4 is minus 3, or negative 3. So that means we immediately know, therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular equals a third. Look back at my previous videos on perpendicular gradients if you want to know how to do that, but that's because since m1 times m2 equals minus 1. And we always need to write that statement to get our marks, remember. So we've got our gradient, and we've got our point. If we just double check our question, our point, remember, is the one from the vertex C. So that's 13, 3 is what we're using. So using the point C, which is 13, 3, and our gradient M, which is 1 third, then we do Y minus B is MX minus A. Y minus 3 is 1 third of X minus 13. Now, if we go back to the question, you'll see that it's not written in the form Y equals MX plus C. It's written as X minus 3Y equals 4. So we're eliminating fractions here, which we'd normally do anyway. So to eliminate a fraction, we can just times this whole side by 3, and that will leave 1 of this side. So let's just do that. 3 bracket y minus 3, remember your bracket, equals 1 x minus 13. Multiplying out our bracket, we get 3 y minus 9 is x minus 13. And then moving everything to the left-hand side, was it a number as well? Nope, except the numbers. So we want all the numbers on the right and the letters on the left. So we've got 3y minus x is equal to, well, minus 13 plus 9 is minus 4. Now that is close to what we have got. But they've got positive 4. You might be thinking you've made a mistake here. No, it's just that we've moved everything over to opposite sides. And I always have times everything by minus 1. So we can, as long as you've got your x, your 3, and your 4, you've probably done it correctly. So let's just tidy that up to make it 4. So last step, that's going to be minus 3y plus x equals 4. Just moving everything over to opposite sides. Or to make it look the way they did, x minus 3y equals 4 as required. This has been Claire on Maths today. We've been looking at how to find the equation of an altitude of a straight line. Remember, an altitude is a line which goes from a vertex of a triangle to the opposite side and cuts it at right angles. Look forward to my next video where we'll be looking at medians. And take care, stay safe, and goodbye.